Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to our China Squad Family TV and I have great news today. R. Kelly is found guilty and convicted on all counts long may he rot in prison. Bastard. R. Kelly trial. R. Kelly guilty. R. Kelly facing life. Elvis should have went to jail too. I'm just saying. New York Attorney General James. For decades, R. Kelly physically and sexually abused women and underage girls. Although nothing can ever make her for years of suffering, those individuals finally received some sense of justice today. Worth revisiting this piece from at Jamil Hill today. Sending gratitude, love and prayers of peace for all survivors who spoke out and who didn't. XO. Had to reward the trial of R. Kelly episode for this one scene, and I'm still weak. Someone called R. Kelly fans the beehive, and I'm hauling. R. Kelly found guilty of sex trafficking and racketeering. Now do Matt Gates. R. Kelly is found guilty on all counts in his racketeering and sex trafficking trial from Complex News. Who believes that a Republican Matt Gaius would be living in the same type of facility as R. Kelly? I do. Justice was finally served. Federal prosecutors thanked the witnesses who testified against R. Kelly and commended the bravery of his victims after the singer was found guilty of running a decades-long scheme to recruit women and underage girls for sex. This is live news coming to you live from Twitter. I'm coming to you live from Twitter. I'm actually re re revealing the reactions from Twitter to R. Kelly's sentencing. He has been found guilty of all counts. So racism, someone said here, racism and misogyny played a large part in R. Kelly's impunity. However, that's different from saying this one verdict is a win for black survivors. We need to stop acting like convicting one man does something systemic. This opening graph from a Jim De Rogatis about R. Kelly's guilty verdict is a thing of beauty. It also highlights just how long R. Kelly's victims have been seeking justice. So this is, I'm going to read it to you guys today, coming to you. These are the reactions from Twitter, I repeat. 25 years ago, Tiffany Hawkins, a young woman from the south side of Chicago, approached the Illinois State Attorney's Office to press criminal charges against R. Kelly. She claimed that the R&B star had sexually abused her when she was a minor, but the office was not interested in pursuing the charges. I was a young black girl, Hawkins told me in 2019, who cared. On Monday, after decades of accusations and a five-and-a-half-week trial in federal court in New York, Kelly was found guilty of all charges, including racketeering, sex trafficking, bribery, and the sexual exploitation of a child. Kelly's case, arguably the most high-profile sex abuse trial in the history of the music industry, marks the first major prosecution in the Me Too era on behalf of victims who are primarily women of color. Kelly now faces a possible sentence of 10 years to life in prison. The Boondocks episode aired 16 years ago, and everything they said about R. Kelly and society was accurate, wild. R. Kelly supporters place his music outside of the courthouse. We're not giving up on R. Kelly. Supporting R. Kelly after substantial evidence of his wrongdoing in 2021. That's what you all are doing? I'm in awe of the courage of the R. Kelly survivors. I hope they find some degree of peace in this moment. I'm also deeply grateful to uh, Dream Hampton for creating a space where black survivors could be seen. Surviving R. Kelly changed everything for all of us. Me too. Thank you. The Boondocks and Vibe magazine told us about R. Kelly years ago. They knew what he was doing to women. They knew what he was doing to women. They all knew and they kept quiet about it. Some of them attempted to reveal to it through animations and today R. Kelly has been found guilty in sex crimes trial. R. Kelly found guilty of all counts and faces life in prison, says Nkanyezi. R. Kelly down, done, now do the rest. Remembering Aaliyah from Jeremy Vine. Age 12, she met R. Kelly because her uncle managed him. Miscarriage at 14. Married to Kelly at 15. Movie star 18. Dead at 2022. Dead at 22 years old. R. Kelly guilty. Jeremy Vine is not a good person still after the abuse we inflict on, on black women, specifically Meghan Markle. So we are also going to hold you account for that. So you are not innocent or anything i don't i just hate seeing hypocrisy from people i just don't like seeing hypocrisy thank you the headline a tyler forgot new york i brought me to tears r kelly is found guilty on all counts 25 years too late those are facts absolutely 
real real facts every time i see this type of thing in response to r kelly all i read is we should be able to abuse rape and torture black women without consequences like white men do and i want to believe that's not the intent behind these types of statement but so someone made this comment r kelly facing life elvis should have went to jail too i'm just saying so this isn't cool okay r kelly committed a crime okay he committed a crime he raped women so he's not a good person and he deserves to face justice for his crimes i refuse to believe r kelly's music is that good for y'all to constantly cave for him the way you do hey man they should have been looked looked at r kelly up when he said all you gotta be is 18. r kelly who's facing 10 years to life in prison is said to be sentenced on may 4th by the same federal judge who oversaw his racketeering and sex trafficking trial in brooklyn today's guilty verdict forever brands r kelly as a predator who used his fame and fortune to prey on the young the vulnerable and the voiceless acting u.s attorney for the eastern district of new york jacqueline casulis makes remarks after r kelly's guilty verdict i keep seeing people saying the bundles predicted this but i don't know they did old enough to remember r kelly being in this same situation like 20 years ago r kelly found guilty of all charges in racketeering and sex trafficking child he faces life imprisonment r kelly is the worst predator says victim's lawyer r kelly is a fight leaks i believe he can fly i'll show myself out new cover of r kelly from prince andrew i believe i can lie i believe i can lie i do hope that sincerely prince andrew also faces justice for all his crimes against virginia and underage women but you know there are two types of justice system i must also had in this statement don't get me wrong r kelly should I'm happy that he got the women R. Kelly abuse got their justice. But on Prince Andrew's case, I'm sincerely hoping they get the same kind of justice after what he's done. So ABC News reported R. Kelly convicted in sex trafficking trial after decades of allegations about sexual misconduct with minors. You see that, Prince Andrew? You are next. Stop hiding under mommy Queen Elizabeth's skirts. The storm is not over for the boy R. Kelly. People, R. Kelly guilty as charged. Brooklyn jury finds air R&B musician Robert Sylvester Kelly guilty of racketeering and sex trafficking. Kelly denied all counts. Could face decades in prison. Sentencing he set for 4th May. R&B singer R. Kelly convicted in sex trafficking trial, facing the possibility of decades in prison. Prince Andrew, Jamie Savid, and R. Kelly all trending on the same day. Nons, nons, nons. Prince Andrew, Jamie Saville, and R. Kelly all on the same boat. So, guys, of all the predators that I have pursued, Mr. Kelly is the worst. Watch attorney Gloria Alfred full statement after R. Kelly's guilty verdict. So, guys, I'm just. To one of my clients, is nothing but a convicted felon. This is it. I attended this trial because I represent three of the six victims for whom charges were filed in and this case. And who testified at this trial. In addition, I represent two other key witnesses who testified and another victim, Jane Doe number nine, who was prepared to testify, found guilty, but was not called to testify. I have been practicing law for 47 years. I have been practicing law for 47 During years. This time, I During have this time, many sexual predators who have committed crimes against women and children. Of all the predators that I have pursued, however, Mr. Kelly is the worst for many, for many reasons. reasons. First, First, he used the power of his celebrity to recruit vulnerable underage girls for the purpose of sexually abusing them. These were not May-October relationships, which is what his defense attorney wanted the jury to believe. These were crimes against children and some adults. Second, he used the power of his business enterprise and many of his inner circle employees to assist him and enable him in his plan and his scheme to lure his victims to him, isolate them, intimidate them, control them, indoctrinate them, punish them, shame them, and humiliate them. All of which made Mr. Kelly more powerful and more dangerous than many other sexual predators who operate without a network of financial and businesses 
to support and enable them. Third, the government proved that Mr. Kelly had genital herpes, that he knew that he had it, but failed to disclose it to his underage victims and adults, and that he failed to use condoms to protect them and lower the risk of contracting it. As a result, many of his victims contracted this sexually transmitted infectious disease from him and will be forced to suffer from it for the rest of their lives. Fourth, in many cases, Kelly, after grooming, isolating, and intimidating his child victims, reported them being sexually abused and humiliated by him. He directed these videos and produced them, not only for his own sexual gratification, but in some instances for the purpose of using these videos to silence and threaten his victims with public exposure of these tapes if they ever revealed what he had done to them. These tapes were not sex tapes. They were child pornography, which is a crime. In their closing argument, the defense had the nerve to bring up the name of Reverend Martin Luther King Jr. What they failed to mention is that Martin Luther King Jr. said that, quote, I have a dream that my four little children will one day live in a nation where they will not be judged by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character, end quote. That is what the jury did today. Based on the evidence, the jury must have concluded that the defendant, R. Kelly, was no Martin Luther King Jr. Instead, R. Kelly is a sexual predator who is guilty of very serious federal crimes. The defense should be ashamed of even mentioning the name of Reverend Martin Luther King Jr. in any discussion of R. Kelly, a dangerous sexual predator who has harmed so many women and underage girls. The defense also argues that Mr. Kelly treated his victims, quote, like gold, end quote. Targeting them, recruiting them, isolating them from their family and friends, forcing them to follow his abusive rules in order to control them, punishing them if they did not follow his rules to the letter, hitting them, threatening them, sexually assaulting them, giving many of them genital herpes, and victimizing them by recording many of them on child pornography tapes, is not treating them like gold. R. Kelly thought that he could get away with all of this, but he didn't. Because despite the fact that he thought he could control all of his victims, he was wrong. Many of his victims had the courage to speak up and tell their truth, under oath, in a court of law. I am very proud of my clients who agreed to testify in this case. I thank them for trusting me, law enforcement, and the jury to find the truth. My clients who testified fought through their fear and relived their painful experiences with R. Kelly and his enablers. R. Kelly's victims handled themselves with dignity and survived intense cross-examination by the defense. Because of their courage and the outstanding work of federal agents and prosecutors in this case, justice has been done. Let that, Let that be a message, a message to other, to other celebrities, celebrities who also use their fame to prey on their, on their fans and others, and others who are, who are unfortunate, unfortunate enough to come, to come into contact with them. them. You're, You're also likely, likely to face serious consequences for your criminal conduct. conduct. The issue is not if the law will catch up to you. The only, the only question, question is, when. is when. So those guys, those are statements from attorney Gloria Alred, full statement after R. Kelly's victory, guilty verdict. Lawyer who compared R. Kelly to Martin Luther King couldn't convince jury. That's insulting. That's very, very insulting. R. Kelly has been found guilty on all charges in a high-profile sex trafficking case. Here's a timeline of the key events that led to this moment. Hold up. R. Kelly is already guilty, but he got two more trials. He's gonna do Emmett Smith all time rushing numbers. He gave her this hit, he killed it. Not many people can do it live like this. Guys, this guy is a sex 
is a sex predator and should not be glorified. Prince Andrew training because Kelly was found guilty and also because his mother, Queen Elizabeth, just decided to give him a shiny new medal. The same woman who took Harry's medal away because he married a half-black woman. Let the monarchy end with this queen, please. Hopefully do that as well. From CNN, while this verdict is not a turning point, it can be a galvanizing moment for those who want to join the fight to end sexual violence against black women and girls. Trevor B. Lindsay writes about R. Kelly's conviction. The, tes the testimony that convicted R. Kelly. Guys, R. Kelly found guilty of racketeering sex trafficking case. R. Kelly, if you, be if you believe you can fly, now is the time. So guys, um... R. Kelly got away with abusing women for far too long. I have a personal stories, but I will I leave that for another day. I'm just happy that he was found guilty. Thank you so much for, to be the brave survivors who have been fighting these battles for years. R. Kelly. So guys, R. Kelly's verdict is being used as a proxy by the media who doesn't really give a shit about black teenage girls. You all know damn well what this really is. If this was the case, then we'd see more coverage on the news of the missing and kidnapped ones. Not fooling me. Obviously, I know that there is bias from the media, obviously, but still, R. Kelly committed a crime and deserved to be punished for it. R. Kelly, God, prisoner, I said sing, step in the name of love, nigga. Seems like you ready. R. Kelly faces justice now, has found justice for all his crimes against black girls. It's time for him now to pay for all his crimes against people of color black girls who couldn't defend themselves hey admire guys r kelly got there fast and you'll soon be in the same convicted club hopefully soon republican matt guys will also face justice r kelly did some packed up shit go through the stories of his victims i was running from him and fighting back someone said i'm gonna read out the statement one witness identified in kelly's indictment as jane doe number five Testified that he repeatedly abused her over the course of a five year relationship, which began when she was a 17 year old aspiring singer in 2015. Now, 23, the witness also testified that she contacted Harpies at age 17 from the singer after having sex with him. She said he had not told her that he had sexually, had sexually transmitted disease as he was legally required to do so. This man purposely gave me something he knew he had. She said he couldn't have controlled the situation. Kelly's physician later testified that the singer had been prescribed Harpies medication since 2007. When she comforted him, he became agitated and told me I could have gotten that from anyone. I told him I had only been intimate with him. When it became impossible for her to have sex due to pain, he complained that her body was broken. So guys, that guy is a very, very bad person. She had texted a friend about him. He hit me all over, she said. I was running from him and fighting back. Jen also claimed that Kelly pressured her into having an unwanted abortion after he impregnated her. One of his assistants ultimately drove her to the clinic. Kelly also forced Jen to record demeaning videos of herself as punishment, including one in which he had to smear feces on her face, she said. He added that he threatened to make her do it a second time because she wasn't into it enough. And another woman, identified by the name Faith Later, testified that Kelly had infected her with herpes. And a third woman, identified with pseudonym Kate, said that she was given a $200,000 settlement from Kelly after she caught the virus from him. Additionally, Jane said that Kelly attempted to control every aspect of her daily life and would chastise her for any perceived disobedience. He would sometimes punish her by spanking her hard enough to leave bruises and make her skin tear. I would get chastised nearly every two or three days, the woman said in court. In, the, in one incident, Jane testified that Kelly assaulted her with a size 12 Air Force One shoe after discovery. She had texted a friend about him. He hit me all over, she said. I was running from him and fighting. So another woman, another woman identified as, had, had identified as Anna, said Kelly made her record videos of being sexual and seductive with bodily fluids. So Jahonda Pace, the first witness, Jahonda Johnson Pace told the jury that R. Kelly threw, knew she was underage in 2009 when they had intercourse in Chicago where the age of consent is 17. Now 28 she, had, she testified on the first day of the trial but had revealed a real age on the day they had sex for the first time. He wanted me to put my hair up in pigtails and dress like a girl's couch. He told the court, adding that he took videos of their sexual encounters. Miss Pace also testified that she was required to ask permission to use the toilet. If I was in his good side, he would grant permission in a matter of minutes, she said. But when she was in on his bad side, she would be forced to wait for up to three days. 
this man is a cruel person and I'm glad justice has been served. So I okay, told my fans and supporters, I love you all and thank you for all the support. Today's verdict was disappointing and I will continue to prove my innocence and fight for my freedom. Lies. These guys should just pay justice for all his crimes. He deserves to pay for all the things that he has ever done. And I'm glad that R. Kelly is guilty. Alexa, R. Kelly found guilt. Alexa, play jailed by Kanye West. R. Is, R. Kelly has been found guilty for all his crimes. So guys, R. Kelly has been found guilty on all charges in a high profile sex trafficking case. Here's a timeline of the key events that led to this moment. Attorney Gloria Aldred says R. Kelly is the worst predator she has ever pursued. And I'm glad that justice has been served today. Justice has been served today. He deserves to pay for all his crime. R. Kelly is going to jail for a long, long time. He's been found guilty of racketeering and sex trafficking. So guys, the free man already painted as a picture about the R. Kelly trial. Nigga still supporting R. Kelly. Just wrong, people. So what you all think they're going to give R. Kelly? R. Kelly is found guilty on all counts, 25 years too late. I hope he, found, he, gets, he pays for all his crime. Matt Guides hopefully is next. And American singer R. Kelly has been found guilty of all running a scheme to sexually abuse women and children in the past 12, two decades. 11 accusers took the stand over the six-week trial. The 54-year-old could spend the rest of his life behind bars with sentencing due on 4th May next year. R. Kelly found guilty to spend the rest of his life in prison. Time, time to pay for your crimes, R. Kelly. Time to pay as your crimes, R. Kelly. The time has finally come. So, guys, I think I'm going to stop there. How R. Kelly used religion to deflect from his crimes against black women and girls. Abuser R. Kelly stayed in good with the church crowd. He deserves to pay for his crimes, and he should. He should pay for all his crimes. R. Kelly should pay for all his crimes. And I'm glad that the time has come. Justice will be served. So, guys, okay, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. And please leave a comment below. I want to hear directly from you. Love you guys. Tell us what you think. Hopefully, Prince Andrew is next.